I'm Anita Saltmarsh and I'm a laser therapist and I've been doing this for over 22 years now. Well, it's the uh, Parkinson's event of the year and uh, we're here to present our posters. We have five posters and we will be looking at case series as well as um, randomized control trials. So we're very excited about that. Although there's a lot of information here and a lot of devices, there's very little about light therapy or photobiomodulation. So it gives us a chance to really tell the community about what impact light therapy can have for them. Parkinson's is a very um, diverse uh, condition. So you have many different um, symptoms that you have. So we've seen everything from changes in GI, so decrease in constipation, bloating. Um, we see changes in motor, so increase in balance, um, ability, the stride, longer strides. Um, we see a change in cognition, and we're doing the MOCA to test that. Um, the research would indicate there may be a change while we're treating the gut in the microbiome as well. So depending on the symptoms, sleep is also another symptom that uh, light therapy has been very successful with. I've been using Symbix devices now for about two years with my patients and they're seeing great results. So I'm just here to help out and uh, let other clinicians and individuals with Parkinson's know about the good news. Well, based on our experience of over 20 years and uh, treating many different conditions from traumatic brain injury to Alzheimer's and depression, um, light therapy offers those with Parkinson's similar benefit. So we see a change in anxiety, depression, cognition, and enhancement in their cognitive abilities. Quite often they talk about a fog and just not being able to think straight. This has been quite effective in helping with that, as well as their mobility issues. So like in other conditions, light therapy offers them the positive benefits. So it's definitely worthwhile. Yes, it's wonderful. I mean, there are 4,000 individuals here. I think what's really amazing at this conference though, I mean, most of the conferences I go to are science-based. This is a combination of clinicians, scientists, and those who actually experience the problem. So we're constantly learning from them and we share ideas. So it's a terrific forum.